All right, guys, it looks like we are live and we are rolling here um, with the James Morgan uh, highlight video. I uh, wanted to make this uh, this video about James Morgan because he is a very interesting quarterback prospect. And James Morgan, to me, uh, as you guys are going to watch this tape, this is him at Bowling Green. Um, this is him actually during a freshman and sophomore year. He was with Dino Babers before Dino Babers ended up going to Syracuse. And James Morgan... Actually, when I was watching tape on Morgan uh, for the first time, maybe two years ago, he just pops off the page because these are incredible throws down the sideline because, you know, there there's a throw under duress. You know, a guy, the, the right tackle gets beat there. James Morgan there takes a lick, still throws the ball a good 50 yards in the air. He actually looks just as good in this tape as he does at at uh, at, at FAU. And the, or at Florida International with Butch Davis. But Butch Davis installed more of a pro-style offense. Also, he was playing in the um, in Conference USA. So even maybe you can argue a better league than the MAC. And here he is with Dino Babers, an elite-level coach. And after Dino left, he decided to leave. But just watch watch the placement on this throw. I mean, you couldn't hand it to the guy any better if you tried. So James Morgan, you just look, and that's easy gas, easy throwing, e easy velocity. The guy is a real talent. Guy is a real talent. I think he's going to stick a corner here. This is really impressive from, from his opening tape, and now that's like a Rodgers-esque kind of a throw. I mean, this is really exciting here. I mean, let's look at James Morgan. Maybe, maybe slow, maybe slow it down a little bit. Um, playback speed. Let's go like seventy-five here. So, okay. Watch Morgan. You see that little jump cut there? Um, that's feeling the pressure. That's stepping up in the pocket. He's going to have to do that at the next level. Throwing off of an awkward platform, fifty-yard toss in the air. I mean. Again, under pressure, evading, throwing on the run. This is the type of stuff that I'd love to see from Morgan. Now let's look at him recently. Last year, James Morgan shut the volume down and even play this video at normal speed. Let's do it. So James Morgan here. This is present-day James Morgan. Again, that's a very good throw. Slightly underthrown, though, from Morgan. I want to see him, again, try to get in. He's, he's always kind of throwing off of his back foot. Here's kind of throwing off of his back foot. I want to see Morgan try to step into this one maybe a little bit more. But, again, feet are in the ground, what you want to see uh, at, during the footwork. A tight little move there to, to try to, you know, a little pro hop into the throw. But, overall, this is a very good pass. These are all the highlights of James Morgan. Again, um, I, I don't think his receivers were necessarily creating that much separation, so these are even better throws. Now, James Morgan, to me, um, he reminds me a little bit of Kellen Clemens, very talented player, was a backup quarterback for a long time. However, he's a really good leader. Um, and at the very least, Morgan actually is similar to Ryan Fitzpatrick in that they're both really talented throwers of the football, and James Morgan could play a, a while in the NFL. Here you see James Morgan. I mean, even though this is underthrown, this is a little bit off of his back foot with pressure in his face. That still is a throw that Shea Patterson cannot make. That's still a throw that Cole McDonald. That's still a throw that I would say – out of the out of the quarterbacks entering this year's draft, fifteen out of the twenty quarterbacks are not going to make that kind of a throw. And you could say it was thrown behind him, but still, after Eason and Love, I mean, he's clearly in the top six of quarterbacks. This guy's going to get selected in the fourth or fifth round. It's all a matter of where James Morgan lands and where he fits, and and if he gets his opportunity. Because there you see him get hit. Shows good anticipation with the throw. It all depends on where James Morgan is going to fit. 
And this is a great play that he's going to need to do in the NFL because what you need to do in this day and age with the, in this game with guys rushing for, for players, and this is why Davis Webb has had trouble getting on the field, it's why Josh Rosen is having a little bit of trouble getting on the field, is because even if you don't have the type of mobility – uh, of like a Mahomes, even if you don't have the mobility of a Josh Allen uh, or Kyler Murray or, or mobility that a lot of guys have, you need to be able to extend plays. And even though here you could say, ah, well, James Morgan, you know, is, is losing ground on this throw, he's really, what he's doing here is he's improvising. And that is what's going to be really important for Morgan at the next level. It's all off-balance throws. It's off-platform throws. It's improvising. And that is what makes quarterbacks in the modern age really good. And James Morgan is not fleet of foot. So it's up to him to come up with intricate ways that he can extend plays. And it's going to be tough in practice. Again, this is going to be a fifth round guy. So he's already kind of in that backup mold. And he's never going to get an opportunity unless he's outstanding in the preseason or if a starter gets hurt, or if a starter is absolutely terrible. So, again, he's going to need a little bit of luck. Again, Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe, every quarterback drafted late needs a little bit of luck and opportunity. Um, Nick Foles, and it's terrible sometimes how it happens, but Nick Foles getting hurt allowed Gardner Minshew to play. And you never root for injuries in sports, but for Gardner Minshew – for anybody, really, it's about taking advantage of opportunities. And this guy, at the very least, is going to be a guy that you could put in the locker room, uh, you could put in the quarterback room, and he's going to be able to dissect tape. He's a very smart guy. He's a good teammate. So his intangibles are there. And if he's put in the action, this guy's going to be able to play, and he's going to make plays. This is a really good throw here, again, off of his back foot. But you just see the talent. This guy possesses talent, and that's why I think he's a great value in, like, the fifth round. I think he's a really good value. You put him at the backup quarterback position, he doesn't rock the boat, and you might have a gem on your hands in, in, uh, in James Morgan. Watch this throw here. They're going to sag in the cover, too. This is a whole shot here. You know, safety there. The corner's looking back. He's going to put it right where my mouse is, right in the hole, whole shot. Bang. Even a little bit late on the whole shot, but still has enough velocity to get it there. Let's watch the feet of James Morgan. It's good. It could even be cleaner. A little toesy, right? Get the feet in the ground. Let it go. Right there. A little bit of happy feet. Let it go. It's pretty decent, though. Guy is a good quarterback. Guy is a good prospect. Guy is my favorite sleeper quarterback in this draft. A little bit of mobility. There you go. Again, how limited was, was, was James Morgan with the talent around him? Because at Bowling Green, he was a little more loose, played a little more confidently. That's an NFL quality throw. Again, stepping up a little bit, keeping your eyes down the field, throwing an absolute dart. That's, that's the kind of stuff he's going to have to do. And, and I think FIU, they might have won six games. This, this is an NFL throw again from Morgan. In the pocket, little subtleties. Again, you got to be subtle in the pocket if you're still going to play. That's really, really good stuff for Morgan. Maybe the Bucks will draft this guy. He'll sit behind Brady. Anticipation, back shoulder type of throw. Off platform. Again, you're seeing the Bowling Green tape mix in with his tape right now. And he's even more clean mechanically. Butch Davis taught him up. So I look for guys that can make next-level wow throws, and this guy has the ability to do so. There's a Tyree sort of play. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. James Morgan, a late-round sleeper to watch out for in the NFL, late-round quarterback that I think could come into a QB room, going to play in the league for a long time, and I hope he gets his opportunity 
to start at some point in time.